In this video, we want to integrate some more functions with power rule and constant rule. The first example is integral of 1 over x to the 3 dx. Maybe you think by yourself, we can integrate top and bottom separately and then divide them. But unfortunately, when you want to integrate a fraction, a quotient, you cannot integrate numerator and denominator separately. So, in here, you cannot integrate 1 and x to the 3 separately and then divide them. And we have no corresponding rule to quotient rule that we had in differentiation. To integrate this expression, we have to try to rewrite 1 over x to the 3 in the form of x to the n. So we have to try to move x to the 3 from bottom to the top. One of the most important steps in integration in, in general is rewriting the integrand in a form that fits one of the integration rules. So in this example, we have to try to rewrite 1 over x to the 3 in the form of x to the n. Then it fits for power rule. We know that we can move x to the 3 to the top and rewrite it as x to the negative 3. Now we can use power rule to integrate this expression. Integral of x to the negative 3 dx equals x to the negative 2 over negative 2 plus c. We add to the power negative 3 plus 1 equals negative 2 over negative 2 plus c. And you can simplify your answer and rewrite it in the form of negative 1 over 2x to the 2 plus c. Let's do another example. Integral of a square root of x dx. Again, we have to try to rewrite this expression a square root of x in the power form. A square root of x can be written in the form of x to the 1 half the power form and now with the power rule integral equals x to the one half plus one we add to the power and we put the new power in denominator one half plus one equals one half plus two over two if we do a common denominator and it equals three over two so one half plus one is three over two and so the answer can be written in the form of x to the 3 over 2 over 3 over 2. We know that reciprocal of 3 over 2 is 2 thirds. And so, the simplified form of the answer is 2 over 3, x to the 3 over 2 plus c. It's not necessary to do this step, but of course, it's better to do it. Another example. Integral of x times square root of x dx. Similar to the above example, first we rewrite square root of x in power form. We can rewrite square root of x as x to the one half. Now here maybe you think, oh, okay, we can integrate x and x to the one half separately and then multiply the answers. But unfortunately, that's not true. When you want to integrate multiplication of functions like here x times x to the one half, you are not allowed to integrate each function separately. And so here we have to try to rewrite x times x to the one half in a form that fits to the power rule. Because of that, we have to combine x with x to the one half. x to the one times x to the one half equals x to the three over two. 1 plus 1 over 2 equals 3 over 2. Now we can integrate x to the 3 over 2 with the power rule. Integral equals x to the 5 over 2 over 5 over 2 plus c. If we add 1 to the 3 over 2, it equals 5 over 2 over the new power. Reciprocal of 5 over 2 equals 2 over 5. So the answer is 2 over 5 x to the 5 over 2 plus c. Another example, integral of 1 over cube root of x dx. Again, we cannot integrate this function 
with power rule because x is in denominator we have to try to move it to the top note that cube root of x in power form can be written as x to the one third and if we move x to the one third from denominator to the numerator it equals to x to the negative one over three now we can use power rule to integrate x to the negative one third the answer is x to the negative one over three plus one over negative one over three plus one negative one over three plus one equals negative one over three plus three over three if we do a common denominator we have this expression and negative one over three plus three over three equals two over three negative one plus three equals two so negative one third plus one equals two over three and so the answer of the integral is x to the two over three over two over three plus c because two over three is in denominator we move it to the numerator and we reciprocal it so the answer is three over two x to the two over three plus c now look at this example integral of 4x plus 3 times x2 minus 1 dx again we cannot integrate this function by integrating each bracket and multiplying the answers when integrating multiplication of functions do not integrate each function separately don't forget this point we don't have any product rule here so what we can do to integrate this expression we have to multiply each term in the first bracket in each term of second bracket and then integrate term by term if we multiply 4x plus 3 in x2 minus 1 it equals to this expression because 4x times x2 equals 4x to the 3 4x times negative 1 equals negative 4x 3 times x2 3x2 and finally 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 now based on power rule we can integrate each term integral of 4x to the 3 is 4 times x to the 4 over 4 we use power rule we add to the power the new power is 4 over the new power minus 4 we put the coefficient and we integrate variable x x to the 1 integral of x to the 1 is x to the 2 over 2 plus 3 integral of x to the 2 is x to the 3 over 3 minus here we have a constant and there is no variable beside it so integral of 3 is 3x because remember that derivative of 3x is 3 so integral of 3 is 3x and it is 3x because here we have dx and it means that the variable is x if here we had dt the integral of 3 would be 3t but in this case it is 3x plus c now if we simplify this answer we have x to the 4 minus 2x2 plus x3 minus 3x plus c 4 from top and 4 from bottom cancels 4 from top and 2 cancels from bottom 2 remains in top 3 from top and 3 from bottom cancels x to the 3 remains and finally negative 3x plus c this is the integral of this expression as you can see in these examples before integrating the functions what we have to do is to try to rewrite the integrand the expression in front of the integral in a form that fits to the integration rules and if we cannot rewrite the expression in a form that fits to the integral rules we cannot integrate the functions so you have to have a good knowledge of algebraic operations to be able to integrate functions let's do another example integral of x to the 4 plus x2 plus 1 over x to the 2 dx we know that we cannot integrate numerator and denominator separately and divide them we don't have any quotient rule here and we cannot integrate 
top and bottom separately. But what we can do here to convert this form to power rule? We have to separate numerator. By separating numerator, I mean we have to divide each term in top. We have multiple terms in top. We have to divide each of them by x2 and simplify it. We can rewrite the integral, this expression, in the form of x to the 4 over x2 plus x to the 2 over x2 plus 1 over x2. What he, here we are doing is opposite of common denominator. In common denominator, we make denominators the same. Here, we are separating numerator. If you notice, if you do a common denominator here, we back to the original expression. But what is the purpose of doing this? Is to simplify these fractions. x to the 4 over x to the 2, if we subtract the powers, equals x to the 2. 4 minus 2 is x to the 2. x2 from top and x2 from bottom cancels. And 1 remains here, so the second fraction equals 1. And finally here, because we don't have any x in top, you can consider it as x to the 0. x to the 0 over x to the 2 is x to the 0 minus 2 or x to the negative 2. Or in another way, you can think this as moving x to the 2 from bottom to the top. If you move x to the 2 from bottom to the top, it is actually x to the negative 2. Now we have three expressions here that they fit in the integral rules. The integral of x to the 2 is x to the 3 over 3 with power rule. Integral of 1 is x because the derivative of x is 1. Integral of 1 is x, constant rule. And integral of x to the negative 2 is x to the negative 1 over negative 1 plus c. The reason that integral of x to the negative 2 is x to the negative 1 over negative 1 is that if we add to the power, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 over the new power. You can rewrite this answer in the form of x to the 3 over 3 plus x minus, plus times minus is minus 1 over x. We move x to the negative 1 to the bottom to make the power positive. x to the negative 1 goes to the denominator. It becomes x negative 1 over x plus c.